Hello, driving talents community. Well, I'm on my way home from Knoxville, Tennessee to Greenville, South Carolina, Highway 40 through the mountains, and it's actually snowing a little bit, so I gotta stay focused. Uh, but I thought I'd give an update on fuel economy and as how it relates to the 410 gears I got on this truck earlier last year, 2022. Well, I did some videos posting my fuel economy, uh, basically maintaining the same at 65 miles per hour, running about 20 plus miles per gallon. But I wanted to do some higher speed fuel economy tests, and what I found was that my fuel economy was dropping substantially over 2,000 RPMs. So when I got to set, went to 70 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour, the fuel economy was horrible. It dropped to 16 and a half, 17 miles per gallon, let's say. And I wasn't sure what was going on there. And actually my zero to 60 time dropped as well. So uh, that doesn't make any sense going from a 355 gear set to four tens. So I just started working on a lot of a tune adjustments, uh, checking different things on the vehicle. Although all the, the analytics coming out of my OBD dongle were showing some really good performance, fuel trims were good, everything looked good, but then I started checking timing, and timing was being pulled back substantially over 2,000 RPM. And this really showed up on a trip to Florida, I took a vacation, and the fuel economy, because it, you know, I was running between 70 and 80 miles per hour, the fuel economy was horrible, and the power was down. Well, I decided to take a look at what my knock sensor was doing. And I found out that the knock sensor over 2,000 RPMs was going absolutely nuts. Really pulling back timing. I mean, going up slight grades on the highway at 75 miles per hour is pulling it down to 10 to 12 degrees before top dead center. When on the highway at flat level at uh, just under 2,000 RPM, I should have been getting uh, about 35 to 40 uh, degrees of advance before top dead, you know, before top dead center. So I started doing some additional research online and I found out that sometimes knock sensors can be oversensitive. There might be something else going on. You might have uh, exhaust vibration or some kind of mechanical knocking that's going on in the vehicle. And I went to my tuners and I had, uh, for example, Five Star, I got them to actually desensitize the knock sensor about 15%, going on I think 20%, and the, the results were amazing. My timing came back. I had no audible uh, knock, which is good, uh, but the, uh, the timing came back substantially, and it still pulls somewhat over 2,000 RPM when the engine goes under load. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, so I've asked them to, to give me a little bit more uh, desensitiz desensitization of the knock sensor but over let's say at 2400 rpms I'm getting on flat and level road I'm getting anywhere from 35 to 38 uh, degrees of advance so that's that's outstanding and the uh, the fuel economy to power up pretty good but I haven't done a fuel economy loop with that yet so, uh, I, but I just wanted to give you an update on that, uh, especially since I'm doing this long drive. Now you gotta be highly sensitive to asking your tuner to either desensitize your knock sensor or even turn it off. I had actually considered turning it off and I, then I found out you can actually desensitize these through a tune and, uh, and get the same effect. So what I'm doing is as I find out how the vehicle runs with the, uh, the, the desensitized knock sensor. I'm actually uh, asking them for an additional 5% of knock sensor sensitivity until I get to a point where I actually can start to hear some, uh, some knock and then I'll go back to the prior tune. And I want to see what I can accomplish. I want to end this video with a caution. The NOx sensor was placed on the engine to listen for and prevent detonation or pre-ignition of the fuel-air mixture. Since I originally made this video, I had the NOx sensor turned off, which was a recommendation from a Ford 5.4 Triton forum, and the detonation was not only audible, it was very loud. I immediately returned to a desensitized tune I received from 5 Star, and detonation was eliminated. 
A desensitized knock sensor can allow inaudible knock, which could possibly damage an engine. So moving forward with this strategy to improve power and fuel economy should be carefully considered. Currently, I am at 30% knock sensor desensitization with good performance, and I've also had some additional timing added for highway fuel economy. More tests will be shared later. I want to give a huge shout out to Five Star Tunes who have been incredibly supportive and patient as I search for more fuel economy with this big old truck. As I mentioned, stay tuned for more fuel economy updates. Please like this video, let me know what you think in the comments section, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.